Hello and welcome everyone, I am Leoni and today we are going to take a look at a very promising mechanical keyboard. This is the DK63 by Diarrhea. This keyboard was sent to me by the manufacturer and this is going to be a sponsored video but everything I will tell you is my honest and own opinion. I will also include a typing test so you can decide for yourself whether or not you like the sound and the build quality of the keyboard. Let's get it out of the box first, then I will share my first impression and will do a quick typing test. The very compact packaging contained the keyboard itself wrapped in plastic, a basic keycap puller and a really nice USB Type-C cable. The USB Type-A and is really fancy as it can be plugged in both ways and has rounded corners, so very cool diarrhea. This is definitely my favorite Type-C cable so far. It's a bit of a shame that it's all white, because white cables tend to get quite dirty, but this is a wireless keyboard so I won't need to use it all the time, and it looks super clean as well. The DK63 I have is the white variant with long Hua red switches, but there is also a black variant and you can configure yours with brown, blue or black switches if red is not your color. You'll find the power switch on the bottom, you need to turn this on if you want to use the keyboard in wireless mode. Pairing it with your devices is fairly quick and easy. You can also pair it with up to three devices and you can switch between them with a key combination, but we'll talk about this later on in this video. On paper, this is a very capable little keyboard with great versatility and the 100 hour battery life is also very promising. The build quality is what you would expect from a newer mid-range mechanical keyboard. So my overall first impression is very positive, but let's do the typing test now. I have mixed feelings about the typing experience. On one hand this is a very quiet keyboard and the great build quality is really reflected in the sound and the typing experience as well. But I noticed two things that I should mention. One is that the keycaps are relatively thin but this was expected because these are double shot ABS keycaps and this layout is pretty much standard so you can easily replace them if you want to. Although I think that I will keep the original ones as they have all the key combinations and controls that are specific for this keyboard printed on them. The other thing that I noticed is that the stabilizers feel a bit mushy. They came very generously looped from the factory so at least they don't rattle and they are definitely much much quieter than all my other keyboards. These red switches are also slightly heavier than the Getron Optical Reds in my other keyboard, but I think overall they feel and sound absolutely fine and I am satisfied with it. The most outstanding feature for me and the reason why I will continue to use this keyboard is the fact that it works so well wirelessly. It pairs up very quickly with all my devices and I can switch between them in an instant. Although I did have some issues when switching from macOS to Windows, but I'm pretty sure that this is because of the cheap USB Bluetooth adapter I use with my PC. 
It even worked with my iPhone, surprisingly. I really doubt that I will ever use this feature, but I think it's really cool. There is also a driver available on kimu.com, although as far as I can tell this will only work on Windows. This is not really a big issue though, as you can access all the RGB lighting modes without the software, and the default layout of the keyboard is perfectly fine. It's just something that you need to know about if you only have a Mac and you want to modify the keyboard's configuration a lot. If you want to use this keyboard for gaming, it will perform perfectly. I played some Counter Strike with it and had no issues at all in wired mode and wireless mode was great as well, no problems at all. Although for competitive gaming I think I would still stick to wired mode because Bluetooth will just never be as reliable as a physical connection. Overall, I'm really enjoying this keyboard, and if you're looking to get a clean looking, reliable wireless mechanical keyboard, then I can confidently recommend the DK63. So that's all you need to know about the DK63, I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about the keyboard before getting yours, make sure to ask me in the comments or on the Discord server and I will try my best to help you. So thank you for watching and I will be back next week with another review. This time it's going to be a fancy new gaming monitor. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next week. Hello and welcome everyone.